Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Bikas Mehdi. I am Professor in Pharmacology, PJ Chandigarh. Today, we will discuss about uh, thrombolytic. <coughs> As you know that uh, body has a defensive mechanism that whenever there is an injury, there is a bleeding occurs and the blood try to form the clot in order to stop the bleeding. So, you use various used words like thrombus, embolism. Like once there is a clot formation occurs, then if it is goes in a circulation, you call it embolism. Now, <coughs> in therapeutics, we use several drugs in order to dissolve the thrombus. If you see that drug that is used to lyse the clot, particularly you can take an example of thrombus formation in coronary artery vessels or any of these occluded vessels. Now, what happened? The thrombolytic it active it activate the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin, and that causes hydrolysis of fibrin, and ultimately it dissolved the clot. So, when you think that there is a converted plasmin by the cleavage of single peptide bomb, and this plasmin is relatively non-specific proteases. So, what happens in clot dissolution, there is also reperfusion occurs in a higher frequency and when the therapy is initiated and you get a maximum efficacy when the therapy is initiated as early as possible. Because as the aging of the clot, it starts to become resistant to lysis. So, idea is to give the drug that as soon as that patient should reach within that window period, so that you can start the therapy and usually it is a parenteral therapy, you give intravenously. So, basically you try to lyse the clot in the recanalized occluded blood vessels, you can take for example, in a stroke or for example, in MI in coronary arteries. So, that is what you want to do it. Now, look at the mechanism of action of thrombolytic. <coughs> now, as you can see that plasmogen is converted to plasmin. So, you have various drug like streptokinase, you have drug like urokinase or LTPS, tissue plasmogen activator. So, once it is inhibiting the conversion, the fibrin, there will be no formation of fibrin, that they, there will be degradation of fibrin degradation product with the help of this drug we mentioned. So, you can classify this thrombolytic as you have an example of streptokinase, the older one or urokinase, then we have some of the newer like tissue plasmodium activator like LTPlase, Retiplase or Tenactiplase. So, these are the new drug which has been in clinical practice. Now, when you discuss streptokinase, it is one of the old first agent that was approved by the regulators. Now, this is a protein, basically this is produced by beta hemolytic streptococci. And this beta hemolytic streptococci, it is combined with a pro activator, which is plasminogen, plasminogen and it form a complex. So, once this complex catalyzed, it converted to plasminogen to active plasmin, it converted into active plasmin. So, this complex is catalyzed the degradation of fibrinogen as well as clotting of factor 5 and factor 7. So, if you look at this, that since it is uh, produced by beta hemolytic streptococci, so there is also chances of streptococcal antibody present in a past infection, which inactivate considerably the fraction of dose given initially. So, 
if you look at the half life it is 30 to 80 minutes half life is 30 to 80 minutes with streptokinase it this drug is infrequently used now in developed countries but still it is in india if you see because it is affordable it is has a lower cost and it is equally efficacious it is very very widely used in indian setup now what are the adverse effect with streptokinase like it is produced you have seen earlier that it is produced by beta hemolytic streptococci so this streptokinase is antigenic so you have to also think that when you give that is it person is hypersensitivity reaction there is a chances or one has to be very careful that there could be anaphylactic like reactions. So, you have to take a detailed history of allergy also, but at the same time you have to be careful about this anaphylactic reaction and hypersensitivity reaction. Patient might usually complain of fever or there is chances of hypotension and but one has to be careful because it also can cause arrhythmia. So, these are that one is antigenic because it is produced by beta hemolytic. So, there is chances of hypersensitivity or there is also greater chances of anaphylactic reaction one has to be careful in case of a fever you manage or in hypertension, but one has to be careful about arrhythmia. Now, next agent as used in thrombolytic is urokinase. Now, if you look at the urokinase it has two chain of serine proteases and it has containing of amino acid. 411 amino acid residue and basically it is isolated from culture of human kidney cell and it is an enzyme urokinase is an enzyme it is produced by kidney and it is also found in urine normally. Now, what it does is it convert plasminogen to active plasmin. So, in that there is a cleavage of arginine valine bond plasminogen that yield the plasmin. So, basically it is not a clot specific however, it has a half life is 10 to 15 minutes and advantage with urokinase is it is non antigenic. Like you have seen the streptokinase there is chances of hypersensitivity or chances of anaphylactic reaction and there is also greater chances of arrhythmia, but here this is non antigenic urokinase. So, urokinase is administered intravenously infusion and this is rapidly you know cleared by the levers. So, most of the time we use urokinase in case of pulmonary embolism. So, we frequently use this drug in case of pulmonary embolism. Now, coming to the newer therapy that we call it tissue plasminogen activators. Now, among these tissue plasminogen TPA you commonly refer it to is LTPlase. Now, this tissue plasminogen activator it produced by it is a recombinant DNA technology and this LTPase has 527 amino acid. If you look back and see that originally it is actually derived from culture human melanoma cell and this tissue plasminogen activator enzyme it has a property of fibrin enhanced conversion to plasminogen to plasmin. So, this has been produced limited conversion of free plasminogen in absence of fibrin. So, this is a new drug LTPase which is produced by recombinant DNA technology of 527 amino acid is most widely used now. Now, when this drug is introduced into the systemic circulation what it does is it bind to fibrin in a thrombus and it try to convert the entrap plasminogen to plasmin followed by activated local fibrinolysis. So, there is a process of fibrinolysis take place and limited systemic proteolysis also take place. So, that is how it act as a thrombolytic. So, it has a very short half life that is why we say that as early as the patient should reach the hospital there is a window period. So, that drug you get a maximum efficacy of this drug. So, it has that half life is 5 to 30 minutes and it is given by intravenously followed by it can be also given by infusion and basically it is also like urokinase it is non antigenic compared to streptokinase. Now, what are the side effect or adverse effect with this drug? You say this is most promising drug, but only thing is you have to 
give it within as early as possible. Now, one of the commonest adverse effect is bleeding. There is chances of bleeding that is from gastrointestinal tract or there is chances from cerebral hemorrhage also. Though it is non anti antigenic, but there is also report of allergic reaction and particularly anaphylactic reaction one has to be very careful and it might cause laryngeal edema or skin rash. So, in case of laryngeal edema definitely patient will complain of breathing problem. So, you have to take a history that because there is chances of orolingual angioedema one has to be very very careful about this drug. So, though it is non antiangenic there is chances of allergy or anaphylactic reaction or angioedema. So, one has to be careful about this drug. Now, what are the common conditions to use or tissue plasmodium activator is one is acute myocardial infarction MI we commonly use. Second thing is we use for ischemic stroke and third thing is as you can see that urokinase it is used in pulmonary embolism this is also a drug of choice for it is used in pulmonary embolism. So, three condition we use is myocardial infarction acute ischemic stroke not hemorrhagic because chances of cerebral bleeding is there or you use for pulmonary embolism. Now, another drug of tissue plasmodium activator is retiplase. Now, this is a recombinant tissue plasmodium activators like you have seen the DNA technology recombinant DNA technology and it has also several amino acids in sequence and that has been deleted. Basically, it is compared to other tissue plasmodium activator it is less expensive or it is less specific to tissue plasmodium activators and it is also given IV bolus dose is given and this drug is approved ready place is approved for acute MI. In case of acute MI we use this drug. So, you can use this drug in acute myocardial infarction. Now, another drug that is tenactiplase it is developed in a recombinant tissue plasmodium activator benefit is it has a longer half life, but there is a greater binding capacity to fibrin and altiplase compared to other tissue plasmodium activator. Basically this is used as a thrombolytic in case of pulmonary embolism or in case of MI myocardial infarction. It is also given in single bolus dose in case of a emergency. So, altogether if you see that therapeutic use of thrombolytic you have seen that in case of deep venous thrombosis or in case of a very serious pulmonary embolism or acute myocardial infarction or you have a case of peripheral artery occlusion or in case of a stroke. So, all this where the role of thrombolytic is there and we use thrombolytic in order to manage the patient. Now, we have to also think of that there are certain contraindication for thrombolytic. Like as you see that tissue plasmogen activator it is given in ischemic stroke only. So, in case of a hemorrhagic stroke you are not going to give it it is contraindicated or if there is a recent trauma there is a bleeding tendency you are not going to give thrombolytic or there is a surgery patient is planned for any surgery or patient is very very severely hypertensive. So, in case of a severe hypertension there is chances of the bleeding tendency is there. So, you are not going to give thrombolytic agent or there is a history of peptic ulcer then it is contraindicated or any bleeding disorders or metastatic cancers or brain tumors. So, these are contraindicated like in case of hemorrhagic stroke, recent trauma, surgery or severely hypertensive peptic ulcer or in case of a metastatic cancers and brain tumor it is contraindicated you should not give thrombolytic agent. So, if you have any questions of thrombolytic you can discuss and you can ask the question thank you very much.